Oh no, you guys read the title, and, and it has a negative connotation. Well, well, how could that be? I mean, this blaster was seen as being good, right? Well, the negative connotation isn't talking about this blaster. It's, uh, it's actually talking about this one. Um, oh no. Oh no, that's a, that's a lot of detail. It looks better. It even looks better than the Titan CS50. Oh no, Titan CS50, you're out of a job. Like that, that, that was the only redeeming feature I talked about in the review was, was, was the appearance. And this one is $25. Oh, Zuru. You savage sons of- Ah yes, the X-Shot Crusher, the pinnacle of Zuru in 2020, and recently re-released in 2022 with this beautiful, glorious industrial red paint scheme, and th this is a cool looking sticker. I'm not gonna take that sticker off. I like that. Even when I inevitably paint this, I'm gonna leave that sticker on. That's how much I like it. I mean, this blaster was a really big deal when it came out, but why is that? Why was this blaster such a desirable blaster, even when Zuru has kind of been a little bit behind everybody else? I mean, they have made some really good blasters, but nobody really talks about them for more than five minutes unless they're talking about their skins line. No, 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 no. This thing got a lot of attention. And it's not really hard to see why, because, uh, guys, it's a minigun. It is an actual minigun. It's not like one of those blasters that kind of looks like a minigun, but is really small or just doesn't really work. No, 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 no. This is saying, I am a minigun, take me seriously. And it's saying that proudly. This thing directly competes with the Titan CS50. So is this thing actually as cool as it has been led up to be? I don't know, let's find out. So the Crusher, Zuru's big flagship in 2020. How does this thing work? Let's start with the ergonomics. This is the kookiest looking grip ever, and it works tremendously. It's about as simple as you can possibly get. It is a perfectly circular cylinder that you put your hand around with a trigger right up here that goes at a 45 degree angle, which kind of matches the rest of the grip. So it's basically like you're holding like a blowtorch or something. They made this work. No detailing. No comfortable ergonomics at all, just the bare bones basic with a diamond design so that you can get a good grip on your hands. I don't understand. It's like, it seems like making grips is overrated because this manages to be more comfortable than a lot of Nerf blasters out there. Like, for God's sake, how much effort went into the design of the Ultra Grip? Look at this thing. Look how much detail is in there. And yet... 99% of people would probably tell you, yes, I would prefer to hold the Zuru Crusher's Coke can of a handle instead of the custom-designed Ultra 2 grip. That is like, that is how revolutionary this is, and it doesn't make any sense. As for the foregrip, because yes, this is kind of a heavy gunner style blaster, and, and it might just end up being the, the replacement to the Rhino Fire, but I'll explain that in my opinion. You basically have this top handle thing here, which tries to copy the same thing that's on most other heavy gunner blasters, except it's a little bit smaller, but if you put three fingers through and then your thumb and your pinky finger just kind of clamp onto the side, it's comfy enough. Now let's go over the design. It's enough to make a grown man cry, and that's okay. It's it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh. To say that this is the coolest looking heavy gunner blaster I have ever seen in my life would be a horrible understatement. It would be undervaluing this thing to a tremendous degree. This blaster is the heavy gunner blaster. It is the industrial blaster. There is nothing else like this, period. Nothing, nothing at all. It looks perfect. It looks perfect. That's it. 
It's perfection. You know what I see when I look at this? I see a nuclear reactor getting ready to charge a tremendously powerful shot out of this barrel. You want to know what I see here? A gas tank or a nuclear battery that's charging up all of the power that this blaster needs. You know what I see here? Perfectly orchestrated industrial machinery cut and solvent welded together to create this nearly indestructible bringer of doom. And they don't even tell you what all this stuff is. You get to use your imagination. You get to decide what every tiny little detail on this blaster represents to create the ultimate machine gun for your rig. This is the blaster for creativity and for practicality because this is a practical blaster as well. It's not just super fun and cool to look at like the Titan is, it actually goes above and beyond at being a practical blaster as well with one of the funnest gimmicks imaginable. If I were to talk about how much I love the design of this, we would be here for three hours. So I'm just gonna cut it here and say that yes, this is my favorite blaster to look at 100%. Now let's get on to the functionality. How does this blaster work? Well, you might have noticed this goofy looking contraption here. This blaster is chain fed. Oh, it's gonna be awful. No, not this time. Now, this is one of the two instances where I think belt fed blasters are put like up at the highest caliber possible and really brought to their full potential. This one and the Vulcan EBF-25. I already did a video on that, but this one does it in a different way. This is a very rigid chain. You can hold it from one side and it will stay even if it's like perfectly horizontal like this. It will definitely sway, but it won't flop around like the Vulcan chain does. So how does this one excel? By being modular. Each and every one of these chain link pieces are exactly the same. They have a female side and a male side that can manually interlock with other chains. And don't think for one second that that makes this chain brittle. This thing is solid as a rock. Duh! The most damage that dealt was unclipping the actual loop, but every single chain link piece still put together. And trust me when I say I tried to get it to break it apart under natural conditions. And I literally couldn't do that without manually pulling the chain links apart by hand. And plus, here's the best part. You can buy chain extensions for this. X-Shot sells more chains. Hallelujah. Someone finally did it! So now you're thinking, oh, well, the chain is good, but the blister and butter will be just as good as it looks to match up to the potential of the design of the chain. Oh, don't worry, we're getting to that. You guys remember the Mega Megalodon? That one Mega Blaster that I never got? This one works exactly the same way. The priming handle, because this is a Springer Blaster, is on the top. You crank it by pulling it back and then pushing it forward. And yeah, you heard two clicks there because when you pull the trigger, it does this. I, that's, that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Come on, that's fun. That's really fun. It really is. Seriously, it's more fun in person than it looks. Like, it offers nothing in terms of the performance market. They just did that because they felt like being fun, and I appreciate that so much. It doesn't make the prime any harder. It just gives it the ability to spin the barrel when you pull the trigger, because there are actually two catch mechanisms in this blaster. One for the main propulsion mech, and two firing a torsion spring that causes this to spin when you pull the trigger. That is really cool. I have no idea how that works, but I am so happy that it's a thing. And it actually becomes a lot more fun when you prime it and fire it fast. Although there is one point where it isn't very fun and that's when you use the slam fire. Yes, this thing has slam fire too, just because they can. Ugh. Oh yes, because introducing the most state-of-the-art Springer Blaster that introduces a chain and make it the private with something that looks like this wasn't enough weird to have slam fire just to nail down the fact that this thing makes it good. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there's one more thing that I forgot to bring up before the firing demo. How fast does this blaster shoot? Mmm. Mmm, I bet you're thinking about maybe mid-60s, maybe 70s. No, 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 no. Mid-80s. Low 90s. Oh, oh, here's how we're going to catch them out. We're going to make it really hard to put the chain in. Because there's no way to lift up this shell. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That just fixed it. 
Watch this. There we go. There you go. There is no catch mechanism on this now, so I can just slide it straight in. If it'll actually, uh, if it'll actually go in. Uh, it's not lined up properly. There we go. There we go. It's right in. No problems at all. No issues. Nothing jams. No problems whatsoever. No negative comments at all. And uh, now I can connect the chain together at the bottom. So the first 15 shots are going to be single shot, and then the next 20 shots, or 10 shots, or no, 20 shots, are going to be with slam fire. So you can see what happens to the barrel when slam fire is activated. darts i guess it was just a bit too fun i couldn't hold myself back uh yeah let's get to my opinion so the zuru crusher a blaster that is only 25 bucks comes with a pretty good chain has a very nice aesthetic shoots very hard works very well and has slam fire and even excels on its ergonomics considering it's basically the most industrial and uncomfortable looking thing ever you know what the sad thing is? I know a lot of people who left this thing on the shelf in exchange for the Titan CS50. The reason for that being that because it didn't have the Nerf logo on it, it must just be a ripoff. Well, could that possibly be further from the truth? No. No, it can't. Not one bit. It would be one thing if it was just like one person who thought this, but no. A lot of people that I know had this same mentality where they just wouldn't want to invest in any blasters that didn't have the Nerf logo on it, and they missed out on this. This blaster is absolutely amazing. I can't gush about it enough. And it really sucks because this is worth buying when the Titan CS50 simply is not. It does everything better. The Titan CS50 is a giant, clunky, rapid strike reskin, while this thing tries to do so many things originally, original, original things going on here, that it, it might, this might as well be the $100 blaster. And just to cap it all off, this thing is super light. I, I can hold this easily. And just to cap off the cap off, the plastic quality is wonderful. Super thick. Nothing creaks. The only thing that kind of creaks a little bit is the barrel jiggling around, but the Titan CS50 does that as well. I cannot recommend this blaster enough. I cannot recommend that you give this blaster enough chances. Hell, don't buy one, buy two. Wait until you have the money and buy two of these, because running two of these in a nerf war would probably be the funnest thing you could do, especially if you're a heavy gunner like me. And I have to go completely honest here, I felt the same way when this came out. I thought it was just gonna be a ripoff of the Titan CS50, and I missed out on it. And the only reason that I actually gave it a chance was because my dad had me at Target. We were at Target getting stuff. And he said that I could get something there. It's just like right before Christmas, just like an early Christmas present. And they had these new red versions on the shelves at Target for 25 bucks. And I just figured, you know what, what could possibly go wrong? And I bought it. And you know what? I don't regret that purchase decision at all. I am mad that I didn't make that purchase decision earlier. So if you could take anything from this video, don't, ju don't judge a blaster by the company who made it. Because this thing is fantastic. Please buy one of these if you, if you are in the mood, or if you are in the market for any type of mini gun blaster, or any type of heavy gunner blaster, or even if you are in the market for something to potentially replace the Alpha Trooper, this thing could even replace the Alpha Trooper because that's just how good it is. So, with everything that I've said so far, if you would like to purchase a Zuru Crusher, I will leave a link in the description below. And with all that said, subscribe to this channel if you're new, like the video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below what do you think of this blaster or any blasters you'd like me to review in the future. With that said, I'll see y'all later. Bye.